in broilers, uh, copper works as a growth stimulant in that when we feed copper above the requirement, the requirement, for instance, of the broiler is around five to 10 parts per million of copper. If we add somewhere in the range of 100 to 250 parts per million in the dike, uh, we see a growth response, particularly in, uh, in starter dikes and then also uh, even in later growing dikes. This is due to uh, copper having a positive effect in the gut. There is primarily at least, there may be other factors involved, but we know that copper affects the uh, microorganisms in the gut and it improves uh, gut health. And this results in uh, greater feed intake by the birds and also a greater body weight gain. When using copper as a growth stimulant, uh, there are differences in the way they're metabolized in the lower gut between copper sulfate and basic copper chloride. Uh, research that we've done where we've looked at different sections of the intestine with copper sulfate it is so soluble it is taken up early on in the intestine uh, at very high concentrations. Uh, concentrations that in some cases uh, uh, can cause uh, oxidative damage to tissue because the copper uh, is not all bound at this point. On the other hand the basic copper chloride uh, it, there's less taken up early in the intestine, but if we go down the track, we see it continue to be taken up. So uh, the soluble concentrations in, early on in the digestive tract are much lower than copper sulfate, but as we go down the track, the soluble concentrations are at least as high as copper sulfate.